Hey guys, welcome to another update video on MapNG. I made a few small updates and I wanted to show those off now. I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, just looking around in California here near Malibu, some pretty interesting landscapes here. So, um, and I'm going to use GPXC for this example, but you can use um, USGS 1 Dem if you want or standard. Um, so I'll go ahead and preview this area in 3D. Now, the thing that I added was sometimes I forget to include the OSM features. So in this case, I only get a satellite image, no hybrid image. So there's you can go back and click Fetch Now if you forgot to include the OSM features. The key thing is here is that it won't uh, retry the um, to get the other data because uh, you have a limit of 100 API calls per day, so we don't want to have to refetch everything just because we forgot the OSM data. Uh, so now if we go to hybrid, you can see here that uh, it added the OSM data into the base texture. Again, um, this is only available if you choose hy a hybrid export or an OSM texture export. So let's go ahead and put this map in the game real quick. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and download the height map and the hybrid texture. And that's all I'm going to use this time. And we'll go to the game, go down to template map, spawn. Hit the J key to pause, hit F11. Go to a new level. We'll create a new level. We'll just call it uh, Hills. Create and open. Hit the J key to pause. I'll go ahead and save the level. I'll hit the Windows key plus E. That will open up a file explorer. I'll do it one more time. Now I have two file explorers. I already have my levels bookmarked here and my downloads. We'll rename this height map to HM and this hybrid texture to hybrid. Now we'll go to the hills level. We'll copy these and paste them in here. Now we'll go to the terrain tools Material library, upgrade, up, upgrade. We'll set the base texture size to 8192. I'm not going to worry about the others right now. Apply that change, add new material. We'll just call it base hills. I'm not going to choose a ground model. Now for the base texture, we'll go to levels and Hills and hybrid. Open that up, set that to 8192. Add material, save. And we need to do an ambient occlusion one as well. And I'll just reuse the satellite image. Now, okay, so that's 8192. 8192, okay, we're good. Now let's go import the height map. Import terrain. Now the important thing here to remember again is that everything exported from MapNG is all at one meter per pixel. But So we just need to look at the diff, which is the total height range. So we'll go ahead and put that in the game, 307. And the height map image is already in here. And we'll import it. Hit Shift C to break the camera away. Hold Alt and scroll the wheel up from camera speed. All right, here we go. Now we'll open up the terrain painter again. We'll choose our base hills uh, material. 
I'll take a second to load and delete the warning material. Oh, something is not right here, so let's... Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. The um... If the base resolution is uh, 1024 for the height map, then we need to go back to the materials. And actually set the base mapping scale here. Leave the base texture size at 8192, but change this to 1024 or whatever your resolution was. I'm not a terrain materials expert, but uh, that's how I understand it. Okay, so let's start down here. And we'll just take a little drive around. Make sure to go to edit and rebuild collisions. And you'll see our roads are here. And let's jump in. Anyways, you get the idea. The one thing that uh, has been bugging me, and I'm not sure how to fix it right now, maybe in the comments somebody can mention, is the shadows. It could be my lack of knowledge of the materials or the game engine. But these shadows, um, specifically coming from the direction of the sun, just look awful. And I'm not really sure how to fix that problem, so... But yeah, there it is. Um, little Hollywood Hills type map here. So, enjoy. Enjoy.